Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Faces of UCM. Today I have Eric Bodeker, producer at uh, KMOS, and part of the team responsible for bringing two regional Emmys for their show, Missouri Life. So what would, how would you describe the daily function of your job? Right now, I mean, it changes throughout the year. So right now we're, in, uh, we're editing Missouri Life. Um, and so every day I come in, uh, I go right to my editor and I edit. Uh, I'm also in charge of a show called Wicked Awesome Stuff, which is also in its editing season. So I'm editing that currently uh, just week by week. And then uh, I also have the student program lowdown. Uh, so the students actually edit those segments together, and then they get that to me, and I put all those segments into an episode and you know add the graphics and the lower thirds sometimes, uh, fix little audio things, and uh, get that back to the students so they can see what uh, they need to do to improve their work. I forgot to add, uh, he's also responsible for, well, a part of the team bringing two regional Emmy, Emmys for their show, Missouri Life. So, yeah, sorry for forgetting that. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what got you interested in the DMP department initially? Um, so, I actually came to UCM with no major. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I did the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> I, d I took an open options class with uh, Ken Schuler. And he uh, took the personality tests and everything came back. Uh, actually, I was supposed to go into some kind of marketing sales uh, thing. And the secondary thing was on-air talent or uh, something related to broadcast. Um, and so I looked at the two majors and I thought, well, I don't, I don't really need a degree to be a salesman, uh, which is what it was telling me to do. Uh, so I decided to uh, major in broadcast media is what it was <coughs> called at the time. Uh, it changed to digital media production, I think, my junior year. Um, but, uh, and I minored in marketing. So I went to a couple meetings uh, with, uh, I can't remember what it was called at the time, but it was, I think it was CTV. I went to a couple of those meetings, which is what you guys are doing now. Yeah. Um, uh, it wasn't a class back then, I don't believe. Uh, it was just kind of a, the students met up. And then I found uh, KMOS and just kind of was sold on the That's whole cool. broadcast world. So. so what were some of the things you did out of class that kind of made you well-versed as, you know, as an editor? Or what would you do in film or uh, even in broadcasting? Well, uh, working at Came West I, uh, and getting further into the, to the broadcast media program, uh, I met a lot of friends, uh, Levi Wilkinson and Josh Leonard. Um, they were both highly, highly interested in film. And I had done a little bit of acting in high school um, in plays and stuff and would always thought it would be cool to act in movies and stuff so that's kind of how I got going with Josh Leonard uh, I was working with him at the station uh, him and Levi uh, but that's kind of how I got into the extracurricular world uh, outside of school because uh, I would say came West came West was my student job um, so I worked every week here uh, but outside of school, outside of the realm of school, that's what we were doing was we every weekend we were shooting some kind of short film or uh, writing something or, you know, just having fun. Yeah. That's a lot of uh, what I, well, that's kind of how I started too, you know, in mm -hmm. theater back in the day in high school. Kind of wanted to continue that too. So what would you suggest that third year students and seniors who are closer to graduating do to, uh, you know, for their experience while they're here? Uh, I mean, some experience that, that I would part would be just get involved. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you're going to do in class, it's not going to be, you're not going to have as much time as you want to devote to it because a lot of the mm -hmm. stuff that you do in class, you have to have it done within the week or, you know, uh, you're also at the mercy of whatever group you get put in and, and some people just aren't going to be as devoted to a certain mm -hmm. project that you are. Um, so I would, you know, just oh, just do the work. So, well, thank you, Eric. I appreciate you coming out here early this morning. Fortunately, that's all the time we have. But uh, thank you for tuning in to another Faces of UCM. Take it easy and stay productive.